Vsauce. Michael here. <laughs> I know how easy it is to get so caught up with spending time with friends and family and making money and scrolling through YouTube and Instagram that the thought of picking up a camera and shooting something for fun just fills you with dread. I know how easy it is because that was me a year ago. And if I'm being honest, like once a week now. God damn it, this is... Burnout is a very real and very healthy part of any photographer or filmmaker's life. It took me a year to get out of my rut, and in this video I just wanted to share a few things that helped me get out of it and get on with it. So I feel like most people already know about the big three, which are sleep, diet, and exercise. If you don't have those things completely dialed in already, then trying some tips or hacks or anything like that probably isn't going to help you. But if you by chance get seven to nine hours a night, don't eat like total shit and try to exercise at least twice a week, then I'd say you could probably move on and start trying some new things. Starting with saying no. When I first started my photography business, I shot wedding photos and wedding films. And then after about my third or fourth wedding film, just looking at my camera, my video, my $4,000 video camera literally made me want to puke because of the amount of work I was putting into all these wedding films. The process of planning and shooting and editing and delivering and coordinating a wedding film was just so freaking hard that the thought of picking up my camera to shoot just a little YouTube video made me wanna fucking die. So in, I think July of last year, I finally stopped offering wedding films and lo and behold, here I am, six months later, with new motivation suddenly to pick up my camera and shoot YouTube videos. Choosing to stop offering wedding films wasn't the, the only thing that helped me get back into my flow, but it played a pretty huge part. And for me, that was saying no to client work and saying no to money. For you, that could be saying no to favors for friends and family and stuff like that or also saying no to money, even though you know you could probably use it. I feel like I always got busyness confused with productivity and that the things I had to do were the things I was supposed to be doing until I started asking myself, you know, if I had all the money in the world, what would I be shooting, you know? Like, I probably wouldn't be shooting wedding films, you know? As cool as they are, as fun as they are, and as meaningful as they are, it's not something that really, you know, lit my soul up. So, of course, I was gonna get burnt out. If you find yourself getting more caught up in using your skill set for money or other people in general, then maybe it's time for a passion project or just putting the camera down completely for a while. So, on the other hand, if doing less doesn't work, then maybe you should try doing more. There is this principle called the do something, the do something principle. It's an idea coined by Mark Manson. He's an author. You probably have seen a couple of his books before. He's, he's pretty sick. Basically, if you find yourself lacking the motivation or the inspiration to get up and do the things that you know you should probably be doing, then maybe instead of thinking it as a motivation problem, you should try thinking of it as a momentum thing. For me, I, I would find that if I woke up one morning and say I, I slept in a little bit or like I like drank the night before and I just didn't kind of didn't feel well, I was like, oh, it's not a perfect day. Can't film a YouTube video today. I definitely know how easy it is to fall into that trap where it's like, oh, one thing went wrong, whole day is ruined, you know? So if you find yourself kind of slipping into that, something that always helped me was literally just putting on my shoes and usually pants and a shirt as well and just walking out the door and walking just go on a freaking walk you get back and then you do something else if you haven't showered go shower if you need to brush your teeth or something go brush your teeth you know cook yourself a nice meal go wash your clothes clean your room literally do something anything and then by just doing that little one percent and one percent and you make your bed and you pick up your clothes and stuff like that it just snowballs until you find yourself hey you know what i, I kind of feel like you know doing the thing that i should probably be doing basically instead of waiting around for motivation or inspiration to strike just get the fuck up do something and then motivation will probably find its way in there 
once you get started. Yeah, kind of like this video, honestly, you know, I'm just gonna be real for a sec. Kind of like this video, I had to walk two miles through the woods to get to this spot, like this like burnt up spot or whatever. And I have to walk, I have to finish filming all this, finish the talking head part, and then film some B-roll, and then walk back two more miles, and then drive back 40 minutes to the house. I have shit I need to do, and I did all this, and like 50 people are gonna watch. <laughs> Okay, if I can do this, you can, you can do your thing, okay? Do your fucking thing. And finally, if you have tried everything, there is no light at the end of the tunnel, and you just cannot bring yourself to just do the damn thing, then just be burnt out. You know, it's, it's okay to step away. When I was trying to make videos that didn't really speak to me, or I was just trying to make videos to build an audience to make money, my subconscious mental barriers just like shot right up. If I had just tried to continue making porco videos and just push through and just do it anyway, you know, just come on, you need to do this, you know, then I probably would have never had the courage to call it off and step away and try to make things that actually matter to me. You know, oftentimes if you have that much, you know, resistance towards something, then there's probably a good reason for it, you know, whether you know it consciously or not. It's okay to give yourself time and kind of look inside yourself and see, you know, is this even what I really want to be doing? Sometimes, like this long leaf pine right here, need to be burned a little bit to continue growing.